could like I I, I want to go check all the rest, but I want to just keep going as we go and just see how rich this thing actually is. Oh my god! There's a guy. going and welcome back to another episode of Faction. Today's episode, I am so freaking excited. Like, honestly, when I find these, it just brings me back to the olden days. Nostalgia is real. Pretty much, we have found another sky base. Now, I have no idea. Like I said last time, I found a sky base, which was only like a week or two ago. Which is actually like so soon. Usually it takes like a month or so to even find the next sky base or to even like... I just, you just don't find them anymore. They're so rare. Actually, not even a week or so. It usually takes me months. People don't build them anymore. People should build more sky bases, please. But anyway, we found a sky base. I have no idea if it's going to be rich or not. But it's going to be a little bit different. And we'll be raiding that very, very shortly. But welcome back to Factions. Thank you for tuning in. And as you guys have noticed, we are coming up to 800 videos of factions. 800. That is a lot. But the thing is, I have done way more than 800 videos of factions. I just, back in the day, I just never titled them as hashtag Minecraft Factions Episode 1. I just didn't title them at all. So we're probably on, like, Factions Episode 2. 1,500 or something. I, it could be, possibly. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, in this series, we're on episode 790-something. We're coming up to 800. I want to ask you guys, what should I do for the big day? What should I do? Any ideas? Comment down below. Let me know. But welcome. If you guys do enjoy this, go down below. Smash that like button. And also, make sure to be part of the notification squad for your best chance of getting that daily, daily code. For that one free mystical charm. But I am about to be very, very rich. Very rich. Well, pretty rich in fairness. With one click of a button. At the moment, I have 665k. I have been sitting on this head for absolute ages. And it is now worth $3 million. Nearly $4 million. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell this. Three, two, one. Boom. There we go. We have $4.6 million. I was like a bit quiet there because I was like, what about if he actually spends all his money this second and I sell his head for absolute nothing? But there we go. We just stole $3 million from someone. That is a lot. We also have, we can see J Tom's here. We also have J Tom's head, but you know, J Tom isn't worth, it's just not worth it. It's only $3,000. Ah, do you know what? I don't really care. Let's give this guy trade his ham gamer. Let's give this guy J Tom's head. <laughs> okay, the guy does not want to take the head. Fair enough. <laughs> Instead, he wants to duel. Do you know what? I'll go ahead and duel him. Um, what is it? What's he want to do? Custom in chat. He better not be a hacker. <laughs> He's won 24 duels. I don't know how many I've won. Okay, let's drink this up really quickly. Please don't be a hacker. Please don't be a hacker. Please don't be a hacker. Okay, let's see if we can win this duel. He's not hacking. That's good. Not from what I know. I was just scared. <laughs> I don't think he potted up. I don't think so anyway. Hang on, let me eat this as well. Okay, I'm pretty confident that we're winning this fight right now. We're absolutely dumboing him. <laughs> it's very rare that I actually dumbo someone like this. Because I'm pretty bad at PvP. Hopefully I can beat Otekas like this in the duel. <laughs> I don't- my helmet hasn't popped yet. It's probably due to pop very soon. Actually, what? Holy smokes, I've popped both his helmet and boots. And I haven't even popped a single thing. And now he's just numbing on crapples to survive. Okay, I'm probably gonna pop soon now. I have to. I have to. Nah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. He's gone. Shockwave and come down. Finish him off. And the duel is done. So there we go. That's the um, random duel of the day. Done. I'm just messaging him saying, GG, good fight, dude, good fight. And now, since we just won a duel, surely we're gonna have better mystical charm luck, right? I don't think that's how it works, but hey, it's worth a shot. Ooh, here we go. It just went, oh my god, it just went past the di divine container. <gasps> okay, right, it could just be money, and this could be hype for no reason at all, or this could be a potential another anarchist, because anarchist and money are both, babe, it's probably money. Hang on, I'm just gonna check. Okay, so we got... Oh, wow. That's actually pretty dope. We just got divine armor. Holy smokes. That's a full set. Okay, that's really nice. We also got a blaze border. What is it? Anarchist, anarchist, anarchist. It's 50k. Yeah, overhyped. <laughs> 
I've said to Mad ages ago, please make Anarchist like an enchanted piece of paper or something that stands out a bit more. Because you never know if it's going to be Anarchist or not. But then again, I guess that uh, makes it a good... um. A good surprise, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, right. We just got a nice divine set. Lovely stuff. I'm gonna keep uh, everything except the helmet. I don't need the helmet because I always, always, always wear a mask. And would you praise the psycho gods? When you get a divine set, you also get divine elixirs. You get two of them or three of them. Holy smokes. Okay. Praise the psycho gods. I really needed those because I ran out. So there we go. Lovely stuff. And we also got a blaze spawner. Very nice. So, when I look for raids, we're gonna get into the raiding now, because I really want to raid this guy base so freaking bad. And I'm actually not gonna fly up, because we need to be careful with our claims, because we're nearly overclaimable. No joke, our base is nearly overclaimable, our walls are. But when I search for bases, what I do is I stick on Forge, which has my Schematica, which has my Replay mod, and which has my Minimap. Now, the only reason why I don't use Forge when I'm actually recording, I always use Optifine, always Optifine, is because when you use Forge... While recording with replay mod, it can and, and recording at the same time, it can get a bit dodgy. Now it isn't as bad since I swapped to OBS recently, but it gets a bit choppy on the video, and I don't like that. But I always have those. I use replay mod for actually world download bases. I don't actually have um, I don't know what Raven calls it. Nine Zig, is that what it's called? I'm such a faction noob. But I use a mini map called Map Rider, which Mad gave to me a very, very long time ago. And he's like, use this. This is the best one for finding sky bases. So I always have it on, but I rarely find sky bases. But then again, I did raid a sky base like last week or two weeks ago. But this is pure luck. But there is a sky base above us. On the mini map, it comes up as a big blob. And I will put a link into the description if I do remember. But it's called Map Briar. Just Google it. But that's what I use. And I just it's just so fun. It just brings me back to the old days when raiding a sky base. Let's check this out. I'm just like stacking up as fast as I can because I'm so excited. But it's got me thinking. And I want to ask you guys. I just don't think it'll ever become a possibility. I'm not entirely sure. <gasps> Dude, I was stacking way too fast there. Holy smokes, I nearly fell all the way down. I wouldn't have died, but my progress would have been lost. That was very close. But I've been thinking, I really want to, like, set up an old school, like, server where there is, like, no claiming. Like, there's factions, but there's no claiming. But then again, it'll never happen. There's too many hackers in the game. But, like, back in the day, you didn't have as many hackers as you do now. But I don't know. I want, I want to play, like, old school factions. Really bad. It wasn't even called factions back then. But I just feel like it gives everyone an equal playing field because you can't just hide away in a base and be active all day long and never get raided. You know that kind of way? But there it is. The sky base. Let's go, dude. I hope this thing is freaking rich. A lot of you guys were strangely saying that I should move over to Blaze Realm because there's a lot of sky bases there. And if that's true, that's kind of cool. But I guess I won't be moving to Blaze unless Otekas wants me to fight him. <laughs> Which that should be happening hopefully soon. Okay, let's stack on over. Here we go. Dude, this feels like such old school raiding. I love sky bases. <laughs> you just can't beat that pure excitement. Okay, right. Here we go. Let's do the test. You got to dip in and open a random chest. What chest do we go for? If we go for top, that's probably going to be empty. Let's go for the floor. Boom. Okay, that is a very, very good sign. There's spawners. They are... Oh, a horse? Horse? Are they all a horse? Okay, they are only level 6 spawners, but horse spawners are pretty good to raid if you... Rain a lot of them, they do definitely stack up. And we got a head here. It's a head cell. No, no. Oh my god. Oh, okay, right. I thought this chest was absolutely filled with horse spawners as well. It's not. It seems to be a mixture. We got slime and everything. Okay, right. We have got a ton of spawners here. Now, I would say, judging from this, I would say what's happened is these because there's no I, I can't see why these guys would have this many spawners and not have a base. My theory on whoever owns this is that they maybe recently got raided. And they built a sky base, obviously, to save their stuff for now. And then I'm coming in and I'm basically just taking the stuff that they saved. I do feel a little bit bad for this factions. And as you guys know, you all hate me being too nice in factions. I don't understand. I always get comments. You're way too nice to be playing factions. <laughs> I guess I am a little bit. It's just I don't take it too seriously. And no one should, to be honest. Okay, so we've looked in two chests so far and they have been amazing. But we could, like, I, I, I want to go check all the rest. But I want to just keep going as we go and just see how rich this thing actually is. Oh my god! There's a guy! It just said in chat, you can't hurt that. Oh, that's... Oh, that's incredibly awkward. Oh my god, what are the chances of that? Oh my god. Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. It's fine. It's safe. F chat, F. Chill. I'll return the stuff I did... <laughs> 
No way! This is uh, no. Is this Miss Base or is this just London's base and London just TP'd everyone else in? Holy smokes! I was raiding an ally. Well, I guess that's why you shouldn't have an unclaimed. Dude, what was in here? I I just need to check. What was in here? Okay, loads more horses. Oh my god. Oh, dude, this would have been... I actually feel sickened a bit. This would have been an actual amazing raid. Don't worry. Didn't take much. Um. Well, this is incredibly awkward. But then again, how was I meant to know? I just found a base. I'm raiding it. What the, What I want to know, why is... Why are... F who myth? What are they worth? Why is a myth member living in a sky base? I'm very much confused. Okay, right. They're all saying it's good. It's not your fault. You, there's no way you could have known. I, I did. How, how was it? Well, maybe if you left a sign saying this is this person's base, which sometimes some people do. Well, that has made me feel sad and kind of good that I didn't raid it at the same time because then they would have thought it was malicious and I meant to do it. But I'm kind of sad because, like, you know, sky bases don't happen a lot and then it happens to be main allies well this is freaking awkward like this is really awkward i'm kind of sad <laughs> but i'm kind of happy at the same time i can't i don't know how i feel with my emotions right now okay yeah divine this is probably the best thing to do yeah let's get rid of the stack from because i didn't show cords so we're good you're good divine goodbye divine you've served well chicken nugget <laughs> oh lordy what have i i just don't understand if you guys go back episodes i have a severe curse of raiding allies and everything by mistake. Like, I have a really bad curse. Oh, okay. He said, don't break it. I'm going to move. I'll just... Uh, okay, fair enough. I'll just come back up then. <laughs> so my first instinct, when I TP'd back and I saw the guy, and I was like, I was like trying to hit him, but I was like, no, no, no. It's like, I was going to say try... I, w I wanted to see if... I thought he was AFK. So I was like, oh, try slash back really quickly. And if he doesn't see me... Oh no, he would have sort of... No, never mind. I was going to say, if he doesn't see me or never saw anyone at the thing, he might not assume he's being raided. But then again, there is a big massive stack going up to the sky base. So he would have definitely seen that. Well, all I'm going to say, if they didn't come online, this would have been a really nice raid. <laughs> now, for all the comments out there saying, you're too nice, you should be raiding them. Guys, they're my main allies, okay? I can't raid them. Or maybe I can't. No, they are seriously our main allies. Myth have helped us out in more ways than ever. They've been incredibly nice to us. I just find it so funny. Now Divine wants to trade. I don't know what he wants to trade me, but uh, we'll see what it is. Ooh, it's an Aquatic Blade 5. I actually need one of those. But I don't understand. I don't know if this is just London's base, uh, this guy right here, or if this is like Myth's main base or something. I don't know. This base was so rich. Come on, surely he can let me raid this. If he's storing it in an unclaimed vault, he obviously doesn't need it. <laughs> But as you can see, there was loads more spawners here, loads more horses, wolves, chickens, everything. I guess it was lucky that he came online, otherwise I wouldn't have known. And then what would have happened then is I would have raided the base, they would have saw the video and then realized who raided the base. And then we'd have to give the stuff back, but the thing is, it's not as easy as just giving stuff back because it would be all in random chests and yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm completely lost now. <laughs> I do think that I go through phases where I get the absolute worst luck going in the faction world. <laughs> it's just dreadful. Like, don't put this the bad way because it's always reversible. I'll explain what I mean. But basically, I don't feel bad raiding my allies. Well, I didn't know I was doing it, so it's not like I intentionally did it. But I feel bad because it was my, like, I feel bad because it was an like, it was actual Sky Vault and I really want, like, I love Sky Vaults. Okay, they're so rare, you just don't find them anymore. Okay, so apparently, I, I, I'm just doing it because I just want to see if I can at least boost, like, I want to see if I can at least make something today. Because I would have made a lot of money from that raid. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be extremely bad, but then again, it's technically not my money. I'm only spending 600k, so I want a head flip. Four, I'm going to head flip basically all my money. $4.6 million. The only thing I'm technically spending is 600000 because I'm, I'm using, I think it's Lofgren's head, the guy that I sold the head today. I'm using his money, most of it. But if I can win that, that would be quite good. Because then I would have made a lot of money and that would counterbalance the raid, you know, and yeah, it just it would make me feel good about myself. But chances are, it's going to end pretty badly okay he wants to do 4700 but i only have 4600 so i can't do that okay here we go head flipping 
Fire Muffin or Fire Blazer, is that your name is? Three, two, one. Let's do this. Roll. What's it going to be? <laughs> please, 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 please. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually won. No lie. I was ready to walk out. Huh? Holy smokes. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to attempt to head flip 9.2 million dollars. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing it. If I, I if I lose it, at least it's going to the vine like it's not that bad. Let's just see, shall we? We'll just see. Why did you do 9.7? I only have 9.2. All right, there we go. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> this is a lot of money. This is like my biggest head flip I've ever done. Oh my. <laughs> No freaking way! Oh my god! <laughs> As you guys know, I've never won head flips in my life. I always win one, and then I go bigger, and I lose. This is the first time I have made this amount of money. We went from $600,000 today to $18 million. Lofgren, to the person I sold the head, thank you very much. And to the people that played. Oh my god! <laughs> we have $18 million. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode on a high note. Thank you very much for watching. It went from bad to extremely good. We have definitely made way more. Well, actually, no. We're, we're, no, the sky base is still probably worth more, but we've made a lot of money. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.